Hello, welcome to Tech Point Fundamentals YouTube channel. This is a programming tips and tricks video series. In this video, we will learn the most common interview question. What is the difference between a string and a string class in a C sharp? Why a string is preferred over a string class in C sharp? And why does C sharp provide two ways to reference the same thing? What is the logic behind uh, this small uh, string and uh, string with S capital in that is the class name in C sharp. So before continuing this video I will request you to please watch this video till end. This will are very interesting uh, video. Before continuing this video you are requested to please subscribe my youtube channel so that you can get a notification whenever I upload a new video to my YouTube channel. So let's start the video. In C sharp, if you remember, in case of uh, C plus plus, we can declare a string with uh, a string type that is all in uh, small. And uh, also, if you are from Java background, then you can uh, differentiate between two that. Uh, primitive type and uh, object but in C sharp this string is nothing but an alias to string class if you mouse over here you can see that class name is system dot string similarly here if you mouse over on this string type you can see the class name is system dot string in both the cases if you press F12 then it bring you to on this uh, string sealed class similarly if you press F12 on this uh, string class it will also bring you to on this uh, string sealed class right so there is technically no difference uh, between these two you can also use anything if you want to make all in to upper or lower then you can use anything in both the cases similarly in this case also you can use two upper or two labor so all the method or operation what you can do with this string variable you can also perform all those into this string variable that is the class right so but one thing if you see here that in this case if you remove this system name space right then you will get a compile time error here right the type or name space name string could not be found right but this is not in the case of string because this is a alias and this is fixed where it had to reference to right this is referencing to the system dot string class but not here in this case string if you are using the string class then you have to specify the full name that is system dot string or you have to import system name space so that is the one difference between these two in case of string there is no need to uh, import the system name space or qualify the full name but in case of string class you have to provide the full name or import system name space that is the word difference right now let's move ahead and uh, if you run the program you will get the output let me create a class string now what happens I have just created a simple class here with the name string let me make it public as well 
in that case this string class type is not being found here programming tips and tricks dot string and if you see represents text as a series of unicode characters this program will not compile right because it cannot find this string class it is just uh, finding this the local string class not the one which is defined into this system namespace but if you see this string is working fine but this is the reason behind why string is preferred over string class right in future suppose someone has uh, changed the code and created a class with the same name as defined in the into the this system namespace right then what will ha what happen that your program is going to break in that case if you see in this example this program we will never compile and run because there is a confusion between this uh, uh, string class whether you have to call this one or the which uh, defined into this system namespace always the logic behind searching the any class is based on the local then global means the parent class in this case uh, this program will not going to compile but what will happen uh, in this case uh, suppose you want to prevent this either you have to use the full name like system dot again system dot string then it is working fine right even it is defined here a class with the same name string if you see it is defined into this namespace programming tips and tricks right if you are you have not used this uh, system dot string full name i know no developer is trying to use the full name because it is required typing too much but let's create a one another namespace and uh, temp and uh, let me move this to here right and here let me import using system then see program is going to compile and run successfully what we have done this string class is now defined to the outer namespace right because the c sharp compilers first search into the local namespace whether it is uh, defined any class with this name string since it is not found here then it is go it is going to the upper namespace or uh, outer which is defined to the system dot namespace and it found that there is defined a class with the name system uh, that is string that's why it is compiling and running successfully so that's why the c sharp developers have to use sys uh, string type instead of string class because it is leads to the program break whenever anyone have defined a class with the same name because uh, in that case there will be conflict between the these two right and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, you you have any doubt please do comment i will uh, respond to that uh, question thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share this video thank you